Can you smell the disappointment? <laughs> Hi everybody, this is Cross of Vegas. I'm the captain here and I got them sir. Hi! I got Leon! Hi! Well, show your hand so you can say hi. <laughs> yeah, I smell the cocaine of disappointment. <laughs> oh, no. We all are smelling disappointment today. Because today, this is the release of Fighters Collection 2017. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm still trying to get over that, that cocaine sniff I had earlier. <laughs> I don't know what he's smelling, so... But, okay, so... Definitely disappointment indeed. Okay, you can tell by our voices that we're a bit disappointed because uh, Fighters Collection 2017 is the introduction of the new Generation Break 8 units, Strike units. Yep. So uh, this is the box that boosts for all clans, Fighter Selection as per usual. So in the front you can see Chrono down there uh, with wordings in Japanese. Uh, Demsa, can you read it? Zengurani Aratana Stride no Chikare ga Tojo! Which basically means uh, all our clans will have a new strike right. power. Uh, yes. So which doesn't do anything for most. Of which for, <laughs> yeah. 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 So so this giant go brick bar is available right now in Japanese. For English, you can actually uh, find the dates on right now, so you guys yep. can see what's in there. Mm. And this one boosts all clans except for Ed Ranger, Token Rambo, and oh uh, yeah, Ed Ranger and Token Rambo. So there's yep. also some crate and metal cards in here as well. Mm -hmm. So let's go around the box and see what we have down here. So in front, Fighters Collection 2017. Yep. Uh, if you guys can see with uh, Vega G over there, this is uh, information. Uh, so uh, in each pack, right? So basically, this information here states that in each pack, they all of them are foils. So you'll get a four, uh, four of them, and one of the cards will actually be a triple R or above, or triple R, or triple R GR basically. Yep. So uh, I don't think there's any SGRs in no, this there box. Isn't. There isn't. So it's five Why would they have SGR? So it doesn't mm -hmm. make any sense. Yep. Uh, and then there's ten packs in each box, as per usual. So on the back here, barcodes, um, not helpful to anybody unless you work in the shop. On the side here, you can see some of the new units that you can actually get. Now, we don't remember the names, but we do know which clan they come from. So we've got Royal, we've got Shadow, we've got Gear Chronicle, and we've got New Nectar. So basically, it's the... Protagonist. Um, the, the protagonist, Tri Tree and... and um, one Kazuma, random. so yeah, one time random, one times random indeed. So, all right, so let's just get straight into it right now. So on the front here, um, generation break eight exclamation mark exclamation mark. So that's what you see in the front here. Although I wouldn't exclamation mark is the last thing that we use, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the more we'll be like dot 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 for us. All right. So if you guys are wondering how come we're not as hype about this, uh, do check out our video. Uh, uh, at least uh, my video on Generation Break Eight. Uh, yeah. What really grabs my regards. So you guys can see it right now. Yep. So you can see the video. The links will be in the description below as well. So you guys can check out as to see why I'm kind of disappointed with this or why we're all disappointed in this. Mm -hmm. So we give you a start. We still give give you a, a few seconds to click that link before we continue. A few minutes. A few seconds of silence. All right. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh uh, when you open the box, the box topper is the card list, so it gives you the card list of all the cards that you can get available in here. So not much from over there, and so now we get straight into the packaging as well. So we'll uh, give one to Leon. It's so thin, it's you, you can feel the air in there. It's almost like we're buying a box of air and from conveniently find some cards inside. Yes. Twisters. Twister. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, look at it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the color scheme because it's gold in the center, it's trimmed at the top right there. So it kind of looks like a local product that we have here called Twisters. Um, some other countries might have them. It's basically a, a snack. And then this is a cheese flavor. And uh, it's cheese flavor. So <laughs> very cheesy, but very cheesy flavor. Yes. So we got corner on the front, just the same as the box. Mm -hmm. The back here, well, just some information uh, from here. By this selection, it's the same as what you get from the box. <laughs> yep. So uh, in this box, in every box, there's actually four GRs, and the rest is uh, the rest of the other six packs have a uh, trip. Uh, triple R's instead. Mm. Uh, so that's the rate that you get from this box and as I've heard the numbers in there are actually random so there's no equal value and it mm. comes down to chance when you are looking for multiple copies of the same card. Yes. Although I don't know why anybody will be looking for multiple copies of the same card because you probably only need one in this case but that's just another argument or in the argument back in Generation Break 8 Play grants four. my regards. Yep. <laughs> Play for <four> GPA. <laughs> Alright, anybody want to say before we get started on opening all this? Nope. No, nothing. All right, so let's just get through this and let's go.
Alrighty, so this is the, the stuff they've opened up in this box now. Um, we also got three points as well, since Dempster's bringing up. Yay. So uh, these are the GRs that we got in the set. So again, we opened two boxes, so we got eight in total. Now, uh, we do have some, the rest of them are all fours, the heel triggers. The heel triggers are basically support, so when you pay the cost for the uh, for the specific G Guardians that's in this set, uh, a skill will be able to activate from them. But we won't, we won't go through them because we won't have enough time to go through all of them. Yep. Same with the G Guardians. So, uh, as well as we are also missing uh, as it as it as we turn out, luckily we are actually missing um, basically uh, the other sixteen other clans here. So if you want to see what those sixteen other clans there, you can check the links in the description below. You head to over to our blog crossovergirls.com to our booster pack, so you can see the other GRs that's also in this set. Mm. We'll be covering in our booster pack. But for now, let's just go through with what we have right here and let's just um, get started. So okay, so we'll start from Dexter's side because we open up his his lovely. Mm, his mm. lovely goddess. Yeah, that's the thing that Ami Chan saved me. Ami so. Chan saved me. So, so that's the. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> So this her Japanese name is Tenjo no Shu Shujin, uh, Jushin Amaterasu. Yeah. So her GB8 skill is an X skill, Corner Blast 1. Look at the top 5 cards of your deck, choose up to uh, add up to 3 of them to your hand, and put the rest to the top or bottom in any order you like. Hmm. During that turn, this unit gets the skill, Oracle skill. When your drive check reveals a trigger unit during that turn, um, all of your units in the front row gets plus 5k. Hmm. Now, we all know that Oracle Thing Tang has a lot of weird. Okay, I'll be I'll be flat out on this. They've been really they've been getting really bad and crappy boosts ever since when whenever. No, oh, Susano. So <laughs> Susano. Ever since Susano came out because Susano was retired. But anyway, uh, Amaterasu herself. If you ask me, the skill is really good. It's something Oracle Thing Tang needs. But here's the problem. GB8. Yes. So all these cards all have GBA skills and so you have to get up to that far in order to get a skill that kind of awesome and that kind of impressive. Yeah. And to be fair, uh, I believe that um, for Oracle Think Tank at, at least or and a few other clans, uh, handful of clans as well, they do deserve cards that actually have this kind of awesome of a skill without needing uh, crazy requirements like Generation Break 8. Yep. So if this was down to like Generation Break 6, it would actually be much more viable in a sense. Or heck, GB3, that would make her even better. Yeah, so, but we have to entrust in the, in the, the Developers to hopefully come up with something good. I hear GBT 11 is good, apparently. So maybe we might get something out in the near future. Maybe this is the shot of adrenaline that we might need. Yep. But for now, we've got this, and so uh, yeah, so Dempster will be definitely putting her into motion as soon as possible. I'll do my best to try to use her. Yeah. But no promises. Absolutely no promises there because Generation Break 8 is hard to achieve at this point of time unless you're playing certain clans but we're not gonna mention any names here. You kick all why you're so useless, your persona like crap. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I'm on a persona role right now with yes. too, so. <laughs> Alright, so um, then let's get to the next card here. So, um, yeah, okay. From that point onwards. So, uh, this one is actually for Neo Nectar, I believe, right? Yes. So, what's the card's name, Dexter? So, uh, I believe it's the Flower Princess of something. Sensing, I don't know. Magokuro no Hana Otome. Um, Lindros. Lindros Premia. Hmm. Lindros. 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 Yeah, I'm also a Windows Premier. <laughs> 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 anyway, okay, her skill is uh, obviously a GB8 skill. Yep. So choose up to three normal uh, choose three normal units from your drop zone and put them and uh, return them to the deck. So when this unit attacks the Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your units, search your deck for up to three copies with the same name as that unit. Call them the separate regard circles. Um for each card called this way during that turn. Mm -hmm. All those unit, all the units called, and this unit gets plus 10k, mm -hmm. and then shuffle your deck. Mm, that seems very very powerful for a uh, new knight card as well. Yes. But again, we have to remember that all these cards are Generation Break 8. Not to not to hammer home that Generation Break 8 is uh is not it not to hammer home that it's a thing, but it's also because it's difficult, and we have to get up to these uh heights in order to actually achieve skills like this. Yes. The idea is to extend the game with Generation Break 8, and so having awesome skills like that makes it much more alluring to try and extend the game to that end. Mm. Uh, so skills like this and even for Amaterasu is actually looking really really good as well. Yep. Uh, but we have to see whether we have to get up to there. Definitely at some point we definitely will have to also, but yes. uh, depends on the game itself. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's let's go on, let's carry on through. So this one, the next one is for Aqua Force. Yep. So Dempster, you uh, you're a main Aqua Force guy, so yeah, so I might as well get it covered. Yes. So alright, this guy's name is uh what? What got cool one? <laughs> okay, um blue something a uh, blue ta something martial dragon, I think. Mm -hmm. Blue world martial dragon, I think. Yep. Um last twister dragon. 
Mm. So, uh, his skill is, is the next skill. Mm. So, counter blast one, during that turn, this unit gets the skill. Second to fourth wave, when your rear guard attacks during that battle, that unit plus 5k. At the end of the battle, uh, look at the top four cards of the deck, then call one of them to that uh, to the regular circle that unit is in mm -hmm. so basically call over mm -hmm. and then if the call unit has a wave ability mm -hmm. during that turn that unit and this unit gets plus 5k then mm -hmm. shuffle your deck right so Leon being an ex uh, Aqua Force player actually yourself what mm -hmm. do you think of the of a skill like that so sweat internally sweat internally. internally I don't know whether I can live that long so. okay uh, <laughs> but take care of the fact that you live take care of the fact that you live uh, if you actually get to use it what is yeah. it actually I guess it's okay just that the, restric mm. the restriction on wave wave 2 to 4 right correct yes. if it's wave Okay, if you ask me, right, wave 3 onwards, uh, that's still okay. But wave 2 to 4 basically means you only have a limited number of attacks, not counting stand triggers. Yes, which right. is kind of a block in this case, because um, what are the chances you'll be, you'll be with the current boost that you're able to call a, con a consistently a unit that has wave ability? It's very hard to do so. At the same time also, I just realised I think I know where the head is right now. What was the head? I, I think the head is the chest. Right. There's actually a neck going down, you know what I mean? No, it's, it's the head like top there. No. Anyway, anyway, as I mentioned in my what happened, <laughs> blast toy. What I mentioned in my what happened, what what, what the heck is this? <laughs> it's a blast toy. Says this. I just pointed out. It's actually a blast toy. Now I think about it, oh, it's actually quite true. Indeed, so. <laughs> all right, well, all right. So let's move on. So the next card that we have here is for Narukami. So Zeten Haru, Kosa Dragon. What? <laughs> <laughs> Conquering Supreme uh, Dragon. Yes, uh, closer dragon. Digit. Closer. closer. Closer dragon. Come mm. closer. Okay. <laughs> Come closer indeed. <laughs> okay. So, what's the skill, Leon? Again, another GBA, obviously. Uh, yeah, all GBA, okay. so. When this card enters into the Vanguard Circle, retire all rear guards. Yep. Mm -hmm. During this turn, the this unit uh they will get a skill, the unit will get. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait, um, sorry, sorry, this is my brain jam because there's a lot of things happening. Okay, basically this card, right, what it does is that when this card appears in the Vanguard Circle, retire all rear guards, and then bind your opponent's entire drop zone. Mm. Okay, and then get skill, continuous, all your unit during this turn gets plus 2k for every card, for every card in the bind zone from every fighter. Is it? Very specific. From all fight. fighters, yeah. All fighters. Oh, yeah, yeah. For all fighters. When Talk about bringing closer to death. Like, let's go. Closer to Thunder death. Strike 50. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is, it's actually pretty It's actually pretty good. Provided that uh, you can live that long, use it again. Yeah, and ignoring uh, the fact that we live that long, uh, it's actually really, really good it's to actually use. Really actually, good. So, yes. Not yeah. just. Don't, don't look at Lua, don't look at. Uh, Seven Seas or, or any of whatever. that other stuff. So. Don't look at the things that it counters. It actually practically sends anybody into a dread. Yes. I could easily turn uh, my triggers into something big. And if this card is put into a tech fight, it's gonna turn very nasty very very quickly. Yeah. In that situation as well, but also consider the fact that because it's a GB8, imagine how thick the drop zone could be yes, for yes. most players as well. So right. that whole thing will actually go over to the bind zone. Mm. And then after that, from that point onwards, it's just a matter of how much can you rack up. Imagine yeah. the person still survives. If you still have a face up voltage, how much is that gonna go? You thought our uh, 25 bind is bad, and wait till you see how much that will go. So, yes. with Closer Dragon. They, they bring you closer to death indeed. Yes. Closer Dragon bring okay. you closer to death. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the next card that we have here, okay, so this is for Kakiro. Ah, so. Yeah. Ah, thank you. Blazing Buff for Dragon! <laughs> so let, let, me, let me take the glory from you. Let me have this moment. Let me have my moment. Oh, okay. Basically. Sorry. Because Narukami and Kagiro haven't done it at all. It's a lot. It's a lot of times I had a boost and... I'm disappointed. Yes. So are we. Okay. So why is the skill? Why are you so disappointed in Okay. When this card attacks, mm -hmm. auto skill, when this card attacks, mm -hmm. retire all your opponent rear guards, mm -hmm. and then all your units get past 10k. Mm -hmm. And then, if you retire three or more units during this uh, with this skill, this card plus 10k one critical. Okay, so essentially, this card can actually go up to 20k plus one critical. Yeah, essentially, right? Okay, the pros is that everybody's gonna get very big. Yes, yes. Not only that, there is no cost at all. There's no cost at all, except when this guy attacks. Yes. Yep. Which is also its problem. Mm. You see, now Kagero nowadays has been made in a way to play stands. If you know how to make use of the stands, it doesn't have to be a trial critical deck anymore. Yes. Mm -hmm. And there's so many good stand cards out there, including the upcoming GPT-11 stuff. Mm -hmm. It's promoting you to use, to use the stands. Yes. yes, correct. 
And this card counters that for some and reason. And then this card is the very opposite of that. It's yes. the antithesis of that. I would say that you'd see this with Overlord, then you would actually be Blade Master in that regard. Yeah. But right. even with Overlord also, you want to have those 10 trigger units that, that is actually helpful. Yeah. So I can see the, the Oxymoron C, if that is actually a word okay. on it. Yep. But at the same time, there is still some pros with it. Considering what the upcoming GBT-11 Kagero does, it actually does help. Yeah, because yes. Yes. if you clear out your opponent's field, then you actually get to draw a card if your opponent has actually no real yes. Yes. Yeah, uh, uh, that's a good point. Game. But still, the problem is that it, it forces you to play a one-trick pony kind of trigger setup. Yeah, and not only that, by the time you already hit the, the GB enough to use this card, what are the resources you have left? Correct. Mm -hmm. and and it comes up to either Titan or Zygum. Yeah, or worse so, yeah. la. Okay, just one, one more scenario, just one last scenario. Okay. Is imagine. That, <laughs> Im imagine, there's nothing to retire. Then yeah, you no, just suck them. There's no 10k1 crit anymore. Uh, and plus, right, 10k1 crit, what can I do? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody has one crit somewhere. Mm. Why would you be so special? Yes. Really? Generation break 8, that's why it's special. Uh, PG, 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 PG. <laughs> if, it's, if it's 20k and 2 crit, maybe that's a bit uh, more different. Or maybe the one thing that Kagero has that everyone else doesn't have, trigger navigation. Uh, then mm. it will make sense why that condition is so specific. Yes. But anyways, mm. moving on. <laughs> that segue though. That that segue is so out of place. So all right. So we're jumping out of the 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 because Dragon I'll, Empire. I'll go out forever. And I'll yes, you could. So yeah. we could condense it all into an entire episode if you want. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah. So moving on. So we're jumping into United Sanctuary right now. So mm -hmm. this is the Gold Paladin card. Uh, Dempster, what is the name? Okay, his name is. Oh, I can't even read. Renkan no Ogon Kishi. Keltis Wiener. Keltis Wiener. I'm sorry, but Wiener. <laughs> it's okay, the name is shown on right now. You guys can probably see it right yes. now. So this skill is uh, is a generation bit 8 Unite. So uh, it's a Unite ability. So when this unit attacks, uh, choose four of your ray guards and, they, and for the turn they will get the skill. Uh, when this unit attack or boost, at the end of battle this unit attack or boost, excuse me. Uh -huh. uh, then after that you can look at the top two cards, choose one, call it to choose, call up to one to regard circle, and for the turn that unit gets plus 5k, and choose one put to the bottom of the deck. Uh, yeah, so basically what you can do is that you can choose up to one to put the bottom of the deck, and then choose uh, up to one put to the bottom of the deck called the regard circle. Uh, and then it's attack boost, so you can actually do it twice on. So it's basically, look at the top. Yes. So two at a time, choose one, call regard circle. To, yeah. So you get to bottom. refresh the whole column. Uh -huh. But the problem here is that you have to call. Yeah. So you cannot choose not to call, yeah. and then you know you put two at the bottom and just call your day. But because considering that, call. yeah, but considering that it's go paladin as well, uh, you probably want to do the call as well because there are some mm. skills they want to pro off. But yes. the problem is because of GBH uh, generation break eight and how late the game is, uh, most go paladin decks may not be that thick enough to actually be able to pull yes. off its ability. I think this is more useful for older builds, um, like say for example, or heck yeah. even. Sorry? Spectral Duke. Ah, Spectral Duke. Mm. Or Azo even the Liberators. Ah, Liberators. Liberators will benefit quite a lot from this. Definitely as well, considering that they can actually pump a lot of power to the uh, you know, mm. to the corresponding units that actually yep. needs the power and as not, well. So. And not only that, if you are okay with wasting one more turn, you can legion all the things you need back. Yeah, that's actually a good point as well. So. Mm. And why if I add, just as the two of them said early, just a while ago, because mm -hmm. uh, Brian has tried to play with his kind of proxy, mm -hmm. the usual testing, mm -hmm. testing, 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 the card is great until the person doesn't die. <laughs> yes, yeah. that's where your resources are that's all gone. Resources just, are all yeah, gone. There was one yeah. instance that I fought in that he just decked out thanks to it. Mm -hmm. It was winning! <laughs> It was winning. Yeah, it was very close. Cool. I guess. The guy couldn't guard. No guard. Top two. Oh, that out. <laughs> Indeed as well. Alright, so moving on, jumping back to the Dragon Empire again. Apparently this box is full of oh, Dragon yeah. Empires. Yep. Oh, yeah. So, this is... Nubatama. <laughs> <laughs> Nubatama's Generation Break 8. Uh, I believe this is a uh, Rikuro Stealth Dragon. Um, I can't read the, the, the <laughs> so, <laughs> But I know it's Rikuro sure. Stealth Dragon, so. Yeah, uh, Rikuro Stealth Dragon. Mm -hmm. Rokushi Kirakan. Yeah. Rokushi <laughs> Yeah, I'm not kidding. Rokushi yeah. Kirakan. Yeah. I so. Was like, is that Malay or something? <laughs> it's I Japanese. Know, after legit Malay. <laughs> it's Japanese for sure. <laughs> right, so it's Skill Generation Break 8. So, uh, when your opponent calls to a regard circle, uh, you may counter blast and soul blast. Or then if you do, uh, your opponent chooses two cards from his own hand and discard them. Hmm. So uh, it's simple, there's not much to go about it. I believe it says 
Carnoblast 1 or Soul Blast 1, I believe. It's not Carnoblast yeah. 1 and Soul Blast 1. You so, make Carnoblast 1 or Soul Blast 1. Yeah, so you make Carnoblast 1 or Soul Blast 1. And then later, your opponent has to drop two cards from his hand. Oh! Oh, uh, yeah, when your opponent calls a card from hand to the Garden Circle. Yes, basically. Mm. Yeah, so on his own, he does nothing. Yeah, so basically, yeah, on his own, he does nothing. But, uh, whenever a unit, one of your units attack, and anything actually calls a card from his hand, mm. then you can activate his Juice Screen Ring, which is again Soul Blast 1 or Carnoblast 1. You have two modes of resources. That's if you happen to do, yeah. yeah. If you happen to do that, your opponent has dropped two. Yes. Which is yes. which is good late game really. And yes. It's one of the nasties. Yeah, it's one of the nasties. Worthy but, of but the problem is if your opponent no guts, you still suck up. But his generation break eight, how likely is it is he to be at two damage? You will never know. <laughs> we're, we're not talking about thinking logically at this time and the time he will want to guard everything. Alright. So yeah, this works. Mm, it does work indeed. Alright, moving from ninja to ninja. <laughs> This is for Murakumo. So, um, the skill, uh, the, the name actually. Uh, the name is it? Yeah, the name. It's not Dominate. <laughs> the the name, is, um, oh, yeah. name is Fukuma Nindyu. Mm -hmm. um, mandala Ryuo. Oh, it's Mandala. Yes. Oh, okay. No <laughs> wonder I recognize oh, that. I come back. <laughs> it's Mandala, you can see from his face. Yeah, no, but I, I didn't make the 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 the, the, the connection right oh, there. It's Mandala also, face. Because he has two more arms. Ah, uh, yeah, it's two more arms. So he grew two more arms and became something else. Yeah. Uh, Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's skill. This is actually an act uh, skill. Once per turn, generation break eight. So the cost is that you choose two cards from your drop zone and send it to the bottom of the deck. Mm. So then, uh, you, what you do is that you can search your deck. Choose up to search your deck for up to two units with the same name as this unit. Call them to separate regard circles, and for the turn, those two units get the skill Shadow Stitch. So uh, when the, when the unit uh, at the end of the battle that your Vanguard attacked, you may pay the cost, which is drop three cards from your hand. If you do, uh, if the attack did not hit, then you may pay the cost. If you do, uh, take this unit in stand uh, and put it to your Vanguard circle. Put this unit into your Vanguard circle as stand. Mm. Shuffle your deck. Yep. So essentially what you can do is that with him here and then choose this unit. So assuming it's actually your first Vanguard. Doesn't matter what it is, if it's Yaki or Yasui. So you can call them to separate to separate regard circles. Call up to two of them. Mm. So at the end of battle this unit, you may pay the cost which is drop three cards. If you do, you can choose the unit instead. Put it in the Vega Circle in stand, actually. So mm. is it putting your Vega Circle in stand or if the unit needs to be in stand? Mm, let me check up. At the end of battle your Vanguard attacks, okay. Oh, Vanguard, yeah. If the attack did not hit, yeah, then, then we made the cost. Yeah, move this unit at stand to the Vanguard. Ah, okay. So, you move, so even the unit is resting, you can move it at stand. Yep. And so the G unit actually goes over there, and the other one still can go. Which means that this unit is stand, it can attack one more time, you can twin drive. Yes, correct. And then after that, you can do it one more time. If the attack did not hit, and it goes over there. And in that case, right, it would actually yep. make sense why this would be Generation Break 8. Because at that point in time, your opponent will be guarding if they don't want to lose the game. Yes. And so they have to suffer the attack of three mm -hmm. Vanguard attacks, which can be quite deadly. Yes. But of course, uh, the regards, uh, he gives up his regards uh, in mm -hmm. order to ride it as, uh, as a Vanguard, you know, yep. to go from there. So, mm -hmm. um, what do you guys think? Actually, I think that's actually okay. Mm, I mean, like, really, in, yeah. in comparison to what we've seen so far, uh -huh. uh, he is also one of the better GB8. Yes, one of the better ones. Really worthy of its uh, skill text. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so it, it, you can see there are some good GB8 cards down there that's worthy of GB8 and makes sense for it to be GB8. Whereas there are others that are questionable at best. So and then there, <laughs> and is, then there why. is why so why <laughs> there is why indeed so that's all that we have for fighters collection we open two boxes so there are sixty in the carton so if you guys are sharing do note that there is some random uh randomness to the numbers so there's no exact number of how many GRs they can get in each carton uh, it's randomized so if you're sharing with somebody you might get run into some trouble if you actually don't find what you're looking for yep so while Dempster decides to put up um Los Angeles the huge trigger over there <laughs> and Leon looks for Los Angeles Vegas Apex or this is Apex that's the no this is the, yeah, no this is uh, no I'm looking Los for Apex fine okay, not really Apex but yeah <laughs> fine no, 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 so. it's fine <laughs> hey, cover the face eh? <laughs> right. hey, let me cover the face so you can attack the face okay. hey, <laughs> too much man too much <laughs> Alright, in any case, that's all that we have for Fighter Session 2017. You can go out and pick up right now if you're Japanese, or you have to wait a month or two more for the English release. And uh, go out there and have fun. We'll definitely try to see this in action, and we might have something special planned for Generation Break 8 uh, in the coming days. So, uh, if you have anything, do check out uh, with us, check in with us on all of our socials, on, on Discord as well, uh, for any news in regards to that. So, uh, until that time, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoy what you see here, if you did, please do subscribe to us here. 
across from Vegas and also ring the bell so you can get notified of all the stuff that we do both regular and impromptu here on this channel. At the same time, follow us on all of our socials. We're on Facebook, Cross of Vegas, we're on Twitter, Cross of VGS. We have a blog, Cross of Vegas.com, where you can actually check the depth profiles and the booster pack that you see here. So you can head over there, you can see the booster pack, see what we missed from the box, all the other 16 clans that's uh, that's not featured here in this video. At the same time, also um, do join us on Discord as well. So if you want to find out what you are, what we have in store for Generation Break 8 or want to talk to us more casually, we're there most nights. So you can find us over there, hang out with the rest of the regards. And lastly, if you enjoy what you see here and would like to support us here at Cosmo Vegas, do consider supporting us on Patreon as well. So, with all that said, thank you guys again for watching. This is Generation Break 8. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye. You all die. Yeah.